Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very big news in regards to Sony. Now confirming, I believe, that they will be working with TSMC on their partnership to go and open up a massive, huge Japanese chip factory to go and help keep on producing out more semiconductors, various other display drivers, and all the other various components that the entire world is basically going and being starved of as of right now. This definitely has a lot of information in regards to the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, all the other various basically automate, automotive industries out there, and just a lot of things kind of mixed in, in throughout this video. So if you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy, there's also a lot of financial talk mixed down in with this, which I personally know I'm very, very much into, and as well as this kind of overall good news, at least more so for the long term of the PlayStation 5 restocks. And as well, we kind of covered this topic a little bit on more, but this is basically the confirmation of them working with it in terms of all these like really big notices and conversations on it. We do believe is now confirmed. So let's go talk about this as well. If any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. Sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stack free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. Those are always linked down below. I appreciate you guys also much watching. Let's go dive on into it. So, if you guys do not know, Sony obviously has a lot of semiconductors and other various technological parts, a part of it in the internal console. As well, TSMC is pretty much one of the biggest, if not the biggest, semiconductor factory and supplier for the entire world. So the fact that they're now confirmed joining forces and also tied into a little bit with the Japanese government, this is very, very, very big. So let's go talk about it. So as of now, we do have the confirmation that Sony confirms possible TSMC partnership on Japan's chip factory the japanese company also says it expected to record 9.1 billion dollars in full year operating profit so so I'll talk about this so as of now in tonagio sony group on thursday confirmed it is considering a plan to join with the taiwanese uh, semiconductor manufacturing co in building a chip factory in the western japanese prefecture of kumanato the confirmation came during a news conference to announce sony's first half on earnings the stable procurement of semiconductors is a crucial issue amid the chip crunch, and TSMC's plan could be a solution, said Hiroki Totoki, the company's chief financial officer. Uh, I also, okay, let's talk about this really quickly. So I kind of covered this a little bit on a video itself. Uh, basically, if they have a very good close-knit production slash business like partnership with TSMC, that could be massive news, like absolutely massive. Like enough that I would put that in my title because I would stand by that and I would stand by that a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. Mainly on the fact that, of course, if you guys see these plants, it will. It takes a while. We even see Joe Biden himself trying to go and kind of address and try to have more of a homegrown Intel-based semiconductor plant. Because I'm sure you guys know, pretty much everything technological, cars included, have semiconductors, display drivers, and other different types of logic drivers that basically go and make sure everything works. But this is kind of the biggest thing to go focus on. We'll talk about the other stuff too as well. You guys can disagree too if you guys, for whatever reason, if you guys want to. When you have a very close business person like connection with this, like a really big partnership, you number one can also probably have a way higher priority when it comes to locking in and securing up the production methods you need to make your products, aka the PlayStation 5 as well. As you guys probably know, this is that Sony is actually one of the biggest, if not the actual biggest company that works with them. So once again, you want to keep that business going because if Sony wants to make a hundred million PlayStation 5s, guess what? That means there's like another 90 million they get to go and make. And ideally they want to work on the PS6, PS7, PS8, etc. And as well too, if you have a more of a proper big government thing, which you guys will see a bit more in this video, basically just kind of means that you can kind of go pull some strings and get some good hookups for this, which is at that first of all, before even plans, other things get put up. That is huge. That is massive news. That's really good news. Mainly because it's like if you're a best, let's say your best friend over there is going and making, you know, maybe he's like, I don't know, like he, he makes really good tacos <laughs> and everyone in the plant just wants these really good tacos. Guess what? Your best friend, if he's actually a good, really best friend, would probably go hook you up and throw you some on the side because he's not, you know, your homies. It's kind of a bad metaphor. You guys can kind of give your thoughts down below, but kind of can do an for this stuff. Sony outsources production of most of its logic chips, which are a key component in image sensors. The company is stepping up efforts to attract more clients and improve the quality of its sensors so they can use in a wider range of products as well. But the global crunch is also making it really difficult to find enough logic chips, which is also going to be something that's going to be kind of, you know, a big struggle either way. Totoki also said that Sony will continue to hold discussions with TSMC in Japan's Ministry of Economy trade and industry regarding the partnership, which also does include sharing Sony's expertise in its Japanese ship operations with TSMC. 
as well as making the proposed plant one of its suppliers of logic chips. So also for long term too, this is great news. Of course, I hope you guys are not still trying to find your consoles in 2023. But as I mentioned, well, they are all like they're basically at the point for the business where the government has stepped in, which is a very good like middle game, like middle ground regulator. And as well, they're also sharing propriety and propriety information with each other, which is also really big to kind of see these numbers, see the productions and all that. It's, it's a very close knit partnership mixed on in. The CFO avoided commenting on the amount of investment, but noted that it will be very meaningful for us to further strengthen and deepen our partnership with TSMC, which has the world's most advanced semiconductor production technology. Like, I don't know how many other words I have to go and say this. If anyone thinks this is cap, just like literally read this line. Literally, and Sony themselves are saying, yes, this is very good for us to go and have very, very deep, deep in par partnerships, <laughs> which also would regard even as of right the second for the PS5 restacks, as well as also for future. But as of right now, trying to go help out this, you know, production. The CFO also avoided counting on that stuff too as well. So earlier this month, TSMC, the world's biggest contract chip maker, announced that it's preparing to build its first ever chip plant in Japan. And it's kind of in regards to that with Sony as well. So the move comes after COVID-19, sped up digital transformation around the world. Driving demand up for the chips, the Japanese government has voiced its support for the project and plans to offer a multi-year aid package. Bringing TSMC's chip plant on shore has been a goal for Japan in terms of economic and national security. The cost of the project is estimated to be around 1 trillion yen or $8.8 .8 billion as well. And also Sony will be investing. This is confirmed now. All this stuff is like new information throughout these past few days. They'll be investing in the plant. Sony is TSMC's biggest Japanese client, which once again, that's why I keep on saying like this is good for the restock news in general. And the new plant will be loc uh, located in Kumato, Kumoto Moto, <laughs> on land near a chip factory owned by Sony as well. So basically, these things are basically right next to each other. As the conglomerate aims to secure stable procurements of semiconductors for image sensors using smartphones, and as well, probably also don't forget too for PS5s, but I'm sure most normal people like are not trying to stress that too much. Sony controls around 50% of the global market for image sensors using smartphones. The company is also trying to broaden the scope for its business by leveraging its CMOS, image sensor technology, and some extending business expansion areas like electronic vehicles and smart city development. The same day, Sony revised up its annual earnings forecast for the second time this year, saying on Thursday that it expects a record operating profit of over $1 trillion for the year, ending in March 22nd. The company anticipates operating profit increased 9% over a year ago, uh, previously had expected a 3% rise to over about $1 one trillion yen sony also did revise its annual net profit outlook to around 730 billion yen it trimmed its profit decline as well too as well which is kind of eh and previously sony also predicted a net profit to drop 32 percent as well the company increased its revenue outlook by 200 billion yen to 9.9 .9 trillion yen which is kind of kind of crazy the company last year enjoyed a surge in gaming revenue due to pandemic driven demand and also basically all of us trying to get our consoles logging a then record operating profit of 971 billion yen Sony anticipates this year's operating profit. The first you'll be ever using the IFRS accounting standing standards to top last year on the black of strong sales of TVs and image sensors for industrial equipment too as well. Cool. So like all around, this is like good news when it comes to Sony. I love seeing this. The reopening of movie theaters overseas is also pushing up sales then too as well for motion pictures. They also just got Crunchyroll too as well, which is definitely like you just want that. Like Crunchyroll is a massive anime, is a massive business. And I really do like I sold a lot of my AT&T stock ever since like that merger happened. I thought that was a really big mess up on AT&T. Like Crunchyroll, I'm a little bit of a weed myself. I really think that does have a lot of benefit because on it. On the other hand, it's better when in gaming business is slowing as COVID driven demand wanes, which actually I wouldn't mind maybe talk about this in a separate topic for a separate video. While Sony has been able to maintain steady sales of its PlayStation 5 console and related content, operating profit for the business have suffered from fewer software sales. This is actually this line right alone. I kind of like to wind down the video itself. I would like to do a little bit more of a deep dive mixed on in and try to maybe make a separate video on it because I just think it's a very, very intriguing conversation to go and see. But also as well, it's also there's a lot of things mixed with like production issues, restock issues, because of course, game sales are also bad because the restocks aren't there. So maybe we'll say that for another video. But overall, at least this is very big news. Once again, this is a very big like you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back, especially if it's a joint business venture operated as well. And also you guys can even see on like the kind of the power that even Sony has that they are literally making the actual semiconductor plant right next to it. So while it's not maybe the best for PS5 restacks in 2024, as of right now, I do think the more close personal net thing will probably make a lot more PlayStation 5s come on out, especially with the semiconductors being so hard. I'm sure it's very nice to have a very close personal investment business partner 
who's also your number one biggest client working on in here for the PlayStation 5s. So I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Give me your thoughts and comments down below. As well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. Sign up for Weeble. The pods are $100. You guys go get free stack, free money. Coinbase, you guys go buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency. You guys go and get free Bitcoin. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Love you guys.